hello everyone welcome to my uh, youtube channel so i would uh, sincerely apologize uh, that i was not able to put out any video in the last one month i was actually busy with other activities so here i come okay so guys this question was asked in a capgemini interview so i found this question online and i really found it uh, interesting and to and worth sharing to you guys okay so as you can see on my screen we have been uh, given with two tables we have lift and lift passengers so in the first table lift we are given two lift ids with their total capacities I mean to say these are, uh, if you see this column capacity kgs that means lift id 1 can take up the i mean can accommodate a total uh, i mean all the people with the, their weight not exceeding than 300 and similarly the lift id 2 can take up a take up a total number of people whose weight, whose total weight cannot exceed the 350 kgs benchmark okay and in the right side as you can see we have got lift passengers table wherein we are given passengers and their relevant lift ids as well okay now as per the question statement we need to write an sql query that will produce a comma separated list uh, where the total weight of all the passengers should not exceed this uh, this total capacity weight right and also keep a note of this the passengers in the list should be ordered by their weight in increasing order right so that means anthony here should have the i mean this anthony marian mark this list should be ordered by their respective weights okay now let me quickly go to the excel sheet to give you a better idea of the input tables okay so as i already mentioned we have two input tables lift lift passengers lift and lift passengers and this is our respective output so that means guys Uh, the lift lift id 1 can only take up these three folks at one time right so that's why we have got this in the output and similarly lift 2 can accommodate all of these four people but this list is list is ordered in order of their increasing weight right if you see for example if you see maria here so for this group here guys for the lift id is 2 so maria has the least weight maria i think then robert and then john and then at the last susan because she is having the most weight right okay so i hope the question is clear and guys before moving forward i would please like to request to anyone and everyone who is watching this video to please subscribe to this channel uh, as that would really motivate me to bring more and more challenging sql videos so that you can clear your next sql interview thank you okay so coming back to the question now so let me just quickly head over to sql server okay so i have already uh, created the tables here with myself and as usual i will be giving the table create and insert statements in the video description so you can take a look at there okay so these were the two tables right that we got now guys let's try to discuss our approach first right so that means we have to first let's only let's take up this example let's forget about lift 2 for a moment okay let's only go with lift 1 for a moment okay now just one second okay now see we have to find out a way let's try to see see the in the output we got what for lift one anthony mary and then mark okay we see anthony mary and then mark that means the total weight of anthony 73 just one second let me add it up just give me a second the weight of anthony okay so anthony's weight is 73 plus then uh, mary's weight is 80 and then uh, mark's weight is 85 so if you will add up these three the total weight will come to be as 238 and then if you add david to the total weight you will see the weight will come as triple 3 let me let me write a query for that so that you will understand one sec okay let's try to focus. let's see so let's sum of weight kg from lift passengers right where lift id is equal to 1 right so we are getting the total weight as triple 3 so that is why you see but the total weight that the lift id 1 can take is 300 right that's why you see that's why in our output we don't have david here right because if we add up david's weight also the capacity would actually exceed the 300 benchmark right okay so i hope you are getting the the crux of the question i mean the, to the point where i'm heading here okay okay so that means see we have to figure out a way so that we filter out this david person from our output right now how do we do that 
that means guys first let's do one thing let's <coughs> see we have to get another column here where we will have to add up these weights in a cumulative way in a cumulative way right i'll show you what i'm saying hold on see what we can do here is because we want running weight we want a cumulative weight weight starting with the person who's having the least weight so in this case it is anthony right so now guys how we can do this now here we can apply a window function right but because we want sum here we want running sum here running or cumulative sum here we will use over clause here with sum as well now you'll understand what i'm trying to do here now sum of weight kg let's do a partition by we have to partition by lift id here right and then order by weight of weight in kg let's see what does we get here first and let's only try to first focus at lift id 1 let's forget about lift id 2 for a moment okay you see what we what we got here guys you remember in the initial i showed you the total weight was triple three right so see what this function has done here is it has taken up the first person first anthony's weight then added it, added it up with the next person's weight 80 now 73 here for the first column then 73 plus 80 is 153 then 153 plus 85 is 238 then 238 plus 95 is triple three now guys keep a note of this now this, this, this kind of uh, window function is very crucial in uh, interview questions. Now usually this is called running sum where you are starting with the first column and then adding up the weight you know as you are going ahead in the table. Now the weight the total amount gets added up right so that's what's happening here. Now don't you think we can add one more filter here we, if we could somehow get the total weight of the lift one. Now you remember that the lift one can only take up to total of 300 kgs right now if somehow we can add one more column here where it will show us the value as 300 then we can easily filter out this person right guys right so that means we can join now this table lift passengers with lift table correct let's try to do, do that so let's name it as lp and inner join with lift let's name it as l on l dot so let us check the lift id is i know lift id is the common column okay so in lift table it is id l dot id is equal to lp dot lift id right and i only need the capacity in kg let's let's get the capacity so we have to get it from l table capacity kg comma and let's alias it as cumulative weight okay so let's execute this okay because i took star here let's give it lp dot star okay okay so here we have got so you see again we have got this column that i was talking about right and i've excluded the lift id filter here okay so you see now this is the running weight that we previously got until here for lift id one and this is the total lift id's capacity now i think things are becoming much clear now right hold on just give me one second okay now let's take it up in a cte guys and now because i i want to filter out this person now i can directly take one condition and select star from ct where my cumulative where just one second where my cumulative weight is what is uh, is less than the capacity of capacity kg so that this rec yeah let's execute this so you see guys now that david record has is is uh, is actually got filtered out filtered out right so that's what we actually wanted right so that means guys half of our job here is done right that means we are able to get all those people that both the lifts one and two can accommodate at one single time right now the next part here is let me go back to the output next part here is we have to get these people in this way where we have to print them as comma separated list in order of their weight so see order we have already sorted right here anthony mary mark because we ordered by weight kg here 
now let's let's i'll show you what we can do here now guys for this sql server already gives us a function called string aggregation okay i'll show you what how i'm saying okay actually i already wrote the query let me try to do it string aggregation and we want i don't i'm not able to recall the syntax just one second i already wrote wrote this string aggregation function below and i'll let me just copy this thing directly okay okay so see what i've done here is this is the same where filter that i already applied cumulative weight is less than capacity kg and now keep a note of this so this is the function that will allow us to actually put all these people into that comma separated value list right string aggregation passenger name and we have to use ag in aggregation we want to use comma and for ordering condition now keep a note this is the syntax within group because see we are grouping by left id here and what this will do is this will create a group of these people right based on the, this will create a group of these people based on the left id and then we are sorting these three people on the basis of their weight by this clause here order by weight kg right okay let's try to execute this and see what we get okay i think we have got our output let's try to match it up with the excel so for first left id we have got anthony mary mark anthony mary and mark and for second left id we have got maria robert john and susan maria robert john and susan okay so that means we have got our output so i think that's all from my side guys for this video i will be soon i will be back soon with another sql challenge and we'll try to see if i can bring up more challenging sql questions so again before wrapping up i would request you to please comment out on this video if there is any other solution that you think is is better than what i said i would definitely appreciate it please put your solutions in the comments and if you have any problems you can always reach out to me over linkedin Thank you so much. Thank you.